Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode 628. Statins can cause diabetes. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, medical director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. I'm Dr. Kathy Maupin, and we're going to talk about uh, some of the dangers of statins that have now been uh, come to light and have now provided a study that justifies what I've been seeing in the office for years. It's very interesting. Statins are drugs we give to people who are at risk for heart disease, are at risk for stroke, and we always give statins to people who have diabetes, type 2 diabetes especially, even if they don't have high, high uh, lipids. Now, we have noticed in our practice that when patients are started on statins, immediately their um, fasting blood sugar increases, their, uh, their hemoglobin A1C, which is an average blood sugar for three months, increases, and patients become either more or worsen diabetics, or they become diabetics because they're on the statins. We've also noticed that when people go off the statins, many of these changes can be reversed. So what, what is medicine doing here? We're saying everyone who has diabetes needs to be on a statin. Well, hmm, that's going to make their diabetes worse. So why are we telling people that? We have alternative drugs that can lower cholesterol if, in fact, you need that. But let me back up a minute. Statins were, um, were meant to be prescribed to people who have already had either a stroke or a heart attack. That's the indication for statins. At a later date, they added prevention to that indication for statins. Now, that's when the wheels fell off the bus and everybody got put on statins. Well, honestly, statins lower your cholesterol, but cholesterol isn't in general, the only thing that causes heart disease. So in about half of my patients, statins um, decrease or will decrease the lipids, but they don't always um, prevent plaque. In other words, if we test a cardiac calcium scan on someone who's been on statins since they were 40, we may find a lot of plaque in that patient because statins aren't the only factor, or cholesterol is not the only factor and statins aren't necessarily the answer. So not only are we we seeing that statins aren't necessary for people who haven't had uh, an event at this time or haven't had proven coronary artery uh, disease by a cardiac calcium scan, they are very useful for those folks, people who have already had a heart attack, already had a stroke, and have uh, already Um, been found to have a lot of plaque, then statins are indicated even if they do increase your risk of uh, adult onset diabetes. Now, for the rest of us who haven't had uh, heart disease and do have high cholesterol, which I've had my whole life, um, that is not necessarily the case. My cardiac calcium scan when I was 47 was zero. I didn't have any plaque even though I had high cholesterol. And when I was 63 was zero, and last year when I had my arrhythmia treated, they didn't see any plaque in my vessels either. So even though I've had a lifetime of high cholesterol as diagnosed by the, by the labs, and I have not been found to have any plaque, the only reason we test cholesterol is because we think it is a, um, it is a, A leads to B. A, high cholesterol leads to heart disease, but it isn't. Half my patients that I do the cardiac calcium scan on actually who have high lipids don't have any plaque. And half of the people who have a family history but no high lipids may have plaque. So in general, it's not a A leads to B, oh, if I have high cholesterol, I'm going to have heart disease. 
So once we take that out of the mix, then we have to look at um, the thought that, oh, well, it's, it doesn't have very high risk, so we're just going to put a lot of people on it. Well, it does have a high risk. There's a risk of breaking down your muscles in some people. Genetically, you may be predisposed to this and can't take statins. Or you may have a genetic propensity for diabetes. And if you do, then it may trigger the onset of adult on diabetes, partially because this new study also told us that statins cause weight gain. So if you take a statin, you may get diabetes and you may get weight gain at the same time. Those are two pretty big risks. And it's a problem for me when every pharmacist that I send any kind of medication to for adult onset diabetes says, why are you not on a statin? Well, my answer to that now is well justified with this new study saying, because it causes diabetes to get worse. I have not seen that it helps people who have diabetes get better in their diabetes or have lower blood sugars or prevent anything with their diabetes. So statins have a questionable use. They have a high risk profile. And now in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, um, which is the endocrine doctor's journal uh, of this year, they say that they increase type 2 diabetes risk and body mass index. So those are, that's a finding. And they also um, are, are dangerous to um, morbid obesity, all the things that come with obesity. So as you increase your, your risk of weight gain and you become more obese, you increase your risk of cancer and almost every other disease there is. So gaining weight as a side effect of a medication is counterproductive for what we're trying to do, which is keep people healthy. So basically the bottom line is if you've had an event and you placed on a statin, then you probably should be on a statin. However, if you are on a statin, you should be taking CoQ10 to protect your liver enzymes because it uses that liver enzyme up. So you should be on at least 200 milligrams of CoQ10 to protect your liver and to protect the uh, other uh, activities of your of your liver that CoQ10 uh, plays a part in. You also should um, be looking for a different kind of lowering medication. We now have several that aren't statins that lower lipids and do not have the same side effects. And we also have a couple of a couple of drugs that are close to statins but don't have the same side effects but work just as well for preventing heart attacks. So you should look into those other things if you've already had a heart attack and you have side effects to the statin. If you haven't had a heart attack and you're on, and you're on a statin, but you don't know if you have any plaque or not, then get a cardiac calcium scan and see if you have plaque. If you have plaque, then maybe a statin or maybe something else that's like a statin but doesn't have the same side effect pro, uh, profile would be good for you. If you're on a statin because you have diabetes, I'm not sure if I would continue that after this study because the statin is going to be making your type 2 diabetes worse and your weight gain worse, which makes, it, makes type 2 diabetes worse. Usually our goal in type 2 diabetes is for us to decrease the amount of carbs in the diet, increase exercise, and um, use metformin to lower insulin resistance to help patients get better from their type 2 diabetes. That, in effect, is going to make them at less risk for heart disease. So we look at a different way, a different method of keeping people from worsening their type 2 diabetes and getting heart disease. So I, I just want you to be aware of the side effects of statins, that there are alternatives, that you don't have to take it if you haven't had um, a heart attack or stroke already, or if you just have diabetes and have a low lipid panel, and that maybe everybody should get a cardiac calcium scan. They're between $50 and $99. They're self-pay. You go in, you sit, you get two pictures from a CAT scan machine, which is not much radiation compared to a CAT scan. And you can find out whether you have plaque or not. If you don't have plaque and you are healthy, then I see no reason to be on a statin. And you should talk to your doctor about that.
This article, uh, the resource will be attached to my blog that goes along with this, um, that goes along with this uh, HealthCast, and it will, so that you can look up the details of this study, and so just to prove that I'm really talking about a real study. Um, in, and then you can show it to your doctor and see if you can have a, an alternative or you can actually work on making your diabetes better if you, don't, if you can't take an alternative, uh, treating the diabetes more aggressively to, to lower your risk of other diseases. So we're always looking for prevention and we're always looking for things in the literature that actually back what we see in our, in our office practice. So I would like you to um, think about this and think about whether you're having side effects or if you've developed diabetes since starting statins because going off of them and going on something different, a non-statin would probably, if, you, if it's recent, would probably just bring you back to your old normal. So I hope you stay healthy. This is Dr. Kathy Moffin. I'll see you next week. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.